defensively? Are, you, are y'all going into this season, this game, with a little bit of chip on your shoulder, the way things went last year? How would you describe the motivation y'all had through spring and preseason getting ready for this game? Yeah, you know, um, definitely we have a chip on our shoulder. Um, seeing the way things went um, last year over the course of the year, uh, we never could quite put it together. But, um, you know, it's a new year. Um, you got a group of guys that have bought into the new system, new coaches, and um, are excited to play football. And uh, real quick, Florida Atlantic in a nutshell, what can you tell me about them offensively? What do you expect as, as a Mike Linebacker to see out there? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously their coach, uh, Coach Kiffin, is, you know, innovative, uh, great play caller. They got, you know, athletes all over the field, you know, kind of guys from all over the place have um, – been been in some big programs, very talented individuals. Um, so they're gonna, you know, spread the ball around, uh, get the ball to their playmakers, try to make try to make some big plays. Second row right, Tony. Tough uh, defending the run. How much more difficult is your job when that when the quarterback can also run? How, how much does that that read option slow you down as a defender? Yeah, you know, it's um, something that's you have to take account for. Um, you know, everything you do, that's why there's such a big difference between, you know, the college and pro game is guys can just, you know, pretty much line up and read their keys and play, play really fast. And um, it's a little bit different in the college game. You know, you always got to count, always got to count for the quarterback. And you, get, you, you read your keys, but how much is your, how much of that involves the quarterback? Not much, no. I mean, you have your initial uh, key before the play. Um, it's run pass key, you don't really look at the quarterback. Uh, front row right, uh, Joey? How much better do you think tackling will be this year in game? Yeah, you know, uh, you guys just heard BB talk about it uh, quite a bit. It's a big, big emphasis on it um, all off season, um, all phases of it. You know, the, you know, the approach uh, to tackling, pressing the hip, um, just, yeah. We've emphasized it. <laughs> Front row right, Austin. Tough Coach Washington talked about you know wanting to give all of you guys a clean slate from last year. I know you're probably sick of talking about it. Did you did you approach this training camp in, in August as a w- chance to reprove yourself, or what was your mentality there? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously with the new coaching staff, things are different. Things are going to change. Um, I don't think my mentality has really changed much. Um, because I've always felt like I've had to reprove myself every year that I've been here. You know, I've, um, with as talented as this team is um, and all the new recruits that they bring in, I've never felt, you know, comfortable. Um, so I've always had that feeling of having to reprove. Is it exciting for you that after Saturday we won't have to talk about last year anymore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Second row left, Steven? Now that you've had a spring and a fall camp to kind of get accustomed with him, what what stands out about Al Washington to you? Just his energy, um, his passion for the game, his love for his players. Um, we, ju- we just, uh, as a unit, a uh, linebacker unit, and as a defense, we love playing for him. Is there anything from, I guess, a coaching standpoint that is different than other coaches you've had in the past? Uh, his energy, his passion, yeah. There's been a lot of talk about how the coaching staff and the players are so much more in sync this year. Can you explain why that is? Do you really get a sense that that is true? Definitely. Um, I think in the past we've um, kind of focused on like individual units. Um, We always talk nine strong. Well, each individual unit has to be strong in itself. Um, And this year's kind of been more of a, I feel like a team approach. you know, linebackers bonding with the D-line, D-line bonding with uh, DBs, whatever it is. We've really emphasized, um, you know, whole defense or offense, like cohesion. Yep. Anything else? So, so it's more too strong, like strong offense, strong defense, than analyzing you guys as individual little pockets. No, I mean, we definitely still, like, it's definitely linebacker unit, defensive line, DBs. Um, But just, you know, all together, I think we've really just come together and said, no, let's be great. And final questions over there, fourth row left. Jared? Hey, Tough, obviously you're as a middle linebacker, 
you're looking at formations every play, and inevitably in a first game, you're going to look and see something you didn't expect. It's the first, it's just going to happen. How have your how have your coaches trained you to handle that scenario now? Um, how when, when something doesn't look perfect, when something's new, when you don't quite know what to do, how do you go about handling? Yeah, that? you know, I think um, within a system of a defense, um, you have a set of rules um, that you rely on, and um, if things get out of whack, just kind of revert back to um, the rules that are set within the system and, and just play from there. Tough, thank you very right, much. Thanks, you. Tough. Thanks, Tough.